There is the legacy you can see and the one you can't. 25 years ago, there was talk of bringing in bulldozers and wrecking balls and leveling Columbine High. It still stands, testament to the families of the victims, to the staff, to the community. They said if, if we move out of that building, then the two killers won. We could not allow that. The same question arose again five years ago and ended with the same answer. I think that was a hard pushback in that we are not going to let uh, the killers succeed. Um, we're going we're gonna to make this place stronger and we're going to maintain the building. We're going to maintain the name of the school and we're going to be stronger than we, we were before the tragedy. In the eyes of the principal who led Columbine High then, Greg D'Angelis, and the one who leads it now, Scott Christie, the school's done much more than merely survived. We look at Columbine as home, a place that we go to every day where we feel safe, that we're proud to be a part of, where we work hard, where we, we laugh with kids, we work with kids, we, we're there for kids, um, we cry with kids, all that kind of stuff. There's special pride in the annual day of service. More than a thousand people giving back to the community. Columbine does represent hope. Then there's the unseen legacy. It lurks deeper and lands differently for different people. For DeAngelis, a lockdown or worse, immediately shifts his focus to his granddaughter. She's in fourth grade right now. She's in the worship program and she's wearing banner. For Christy, it's the gawkers. We call them loos. If they're looky looing, we're, we're, we're talking to them right away. They're in the area, they're from out of state, and they're like, oh, that's Columbine High School. I'm gonna go take a look at it. Without them. Rarely, you know, other than probably April 20th, April, do I think of that horrific day. There's rarely a day his predecessor doesn't think about it and his beloved 13. Get up every morning and throw my feet at the ground. Cassie Burrell, Steve Kernow. Corey DePruder, Kelly Fleming, Matt Kector, Daniel Mauser, Danny Roman, Dave Sanders, Rachel Scott, Isaiah Scholes, John Tomlin, Lauren Townsend, Kyle Belasquez, and they give me the inspiration. In Jefferson County, Kevin Vaughn, Nine News.